Hello everyone. Today we have a new lesson. Today we're going to talk about illnesses and treatments in English. Get well soon. Look at that girl. She looks very ill. Okay. So, in order to talk about our topic, look at this. What is this? Tissues? No. It looks like this girl is sick. What does she have on her arm? It has colors. It has a type of chalk. Even some people wrote on it. You can see the name of someone. It's a cast. This means that this girl broke her arm and they immobilized her arm so she can get well soon. Okay, so talking about illnesses and treatments, let's see, what's the matter with her? She has a cold, a broken arm, or a headache? Yes, a broken arm, that's correct. How do, how do you think she feels? Do you think it hurts a lot? It hurts, but she feels fine. Better than ever. It can vary, right? It probably hurts a little bit, but it feels fine or even better than ever because once you cannot move your arm, it doesn't hurt that much. Okay, so grab your notebook on page 69, your book, sorry, on page 69 and 68. And in number three, we have to write a speech bubble for this girl, like a message, a text that you would like to write to her. You can see that here someone wrote Sierra. Here there's a heart and a happy face. So what would you write if you could write something for this girl? Write it down. You can pause the video. Okay, after pausing the video, now we're going to continue. So let's see, what illnesses, illnesses do you know? There are different illnesses that we usually feel or, or see that other people have, right? In different parts of the body also. Okay, maybe you can identify the neck ache, heartache, stomach ache, and a headache. Remember, an ache is a strong and hard feeling of disease or not feeling good, feeling bad right in one area of your body. And what treatments do you know for them? There are different types of treatments. Traditional, medicine, I don't know. Probably for a neck ache. You might think on putting a band-aid or a special band-aid. You might think for a heartache to go to the doctor because that's serious. Maybe if you have a stomach ache and you're ill or you have a specific type of, of illness, you will need a, to get a shot or maybe take some medicine, same thing with a headache, right? Okay, so in general, some of these illnesses and treatments, we already know them, right? We've heard them. Let's see some other things. So here, we're in a clinic. You can see there's a doctor, there's a girl with her mom, and you can see a line of the rest of patients that are waiting to be treated, are waiting to be observed and analyzed in order to get medicine, to get cured, right? So we're going to read this text on page 70, and we are going to learn the new vocabulary with it. Let's read. Our bodies are amazing. Every day, they work hard to keep us healthy. 
But everyone gets sick sometimes. When you have a cold or you have a fever, it means germs entered your body. You can't see germs, but they can make you sick. Some germs can live for two hours on your desk. So use tissues when you sneeze or cough. So you don't disseminate them, right? And wash your hands with soap. Something we are doing a lot nowadays with COVID, right? COVID-19. Okay. Here the text continues. Germs aren't the only things that can make you feel bad. You may get an earache, a headache, or a stomach ache. It's a good idea to have a first aid kit too. That's a good place to keep medicine. So as you, sh you see, this boy is sneezing and his mom is giving him some tissue so he can uh, clean his nose, right? This girl evidently has an earache. She's grabbing her ear. The mom here and this boy over here are grabbing their heads or the child's head because they have a headache. This boy is grabbing his stomach. It means that he has a stomach ache, right? So these are different illnesses. And we can see here that this girl is being treated by the doctor and she seems to have a fever, right? She has high temperature on her body and she's coughing also. And you can see that there's a first aid kit. We should all have a first aid kit at home in case of an emergency with some basic medicine that we can use for different types of illnesses that can come along. Okay, you can see this girl also has a cast because she has a broken leg, right? Let's study the vocabulary then. So here we see that this girl has a cold, right? Have a cold. She has a cold. Let's spell it. Have a cold. H-A-V-E space A space C-O-L-D have a cold. Usually when you have a cold, you have low temperature, you sneeze a lot, you cough a lot also, right? So it's important to take medicine and drink things that have vitamin C. And she, look, have a fever. She's very hot. She has a fever. Let's spell have a fever. H-A-V-E space A space F-E-V-E-R. Have a fever. This guy looks sick and he has something next to him. He has tissues. He has a cold and needs a lot of tissues. Let's spell the word tissues. T-I-S-S-U-E-S, -S -S, tissues. And this guy is about to sneeze, right? He's going to sneeze. Let's spell sneeze. S-N-E-E-Z-E, -E -E, sneeze. Oh, look, all these people, they cough. Remember, cover your mouth when you cough. Let's spell cough. C-O-U-G-H, cough. Oh, poor, poor girl. She's covering her, her head, particularly her ear. She has a terrible earache. Let's spell an earache. A N space E A R A C H E. An earache. Poor girl, look. A headache. 
She's had that headache since yesterday. Can you imagine? Let's spell it. A headache. A space H E A D A C H E. A headache. Now this boy, look, he's pale. Something he ate wasn't good. He has a strong stomach ache. A stomach ache. Let's spell it. A space S T O M A C H A C H E. A stomach ache. And here we have different pills and different treatments. So medicine. It's good to take medicine when you're sick. Okay, let's spell medicine. M-E-D-I-C-I-N-E. -I -I -E. Medicine. And this is a pack of medicine. You have different types of medicine for different situations, right? It's a first aid kit. Always have a first aid kit at home in case of an emergency. So let's spell it. A space F I R S T hyphen A I D space K I T. A first aid kit. Okay, so now let's guess. You take this when you feel ill or sick. Medicine, that's correct. When your ear aches, you have a, you have an earache. You usually cover your mouth when you do this. Cough. You usually have low temperature, cough, sneeze, and have a sore throat when you have this. You have cold. You need this in case you sneeze or cough. Of course, tissues. When your head feels terrible, you say you have a headache. It's good to have this at home in a visible place. A first aid kit. When your stomach feels bad, then you have a, a stomach ache, of course. You have to put your arm in front of your mouth when this is going to happen. Sneeze, right? When you sneeze, you have to put your arm in front of your mouth. Okay, so that's all for today. I hope you learned a lot and we'll stay in touch. Take care. Bye.